Welcome back to the Little Beans Read Aloud. Today we're going to be reading a book called "Oh Say Can You Say What's the Weather Today" by Tish Rabe. I'm the cat in the hat, and it's raining. I know, but let's not stay inside. We've got places to go. Where the sunshine is shining, where the warm winds are blowing, where the lightning is flashing, where the snowflakes are snowing, the weather is changing. Come on, let's get going. First stop is the top of Mount Karakaku, where they study the weather. That's all that they do. Watching the weather helps everyone know. What to wear, where to live, and what food they can grow. Pilots check the weather when they fly a plane. Are they flying in sunshine or clouds filled with rain? Corns grow where it's hot. Rice grows where it's wet. Farmers grow what grows best, and the weather they get. Meteorologists forecast the weather and say. What kind of weather is heading our way? They send weather balloons floating high in the air to measure how hot or how cold it is there. Air temperature affects weather a lot. Thermometers show if it's cold or it's hot. Wind changes weather, and we can see why. It blows clouds along and clears rain from the sky. Anemometers measure how fast the wind goes. A wind vane will show you which way the wind blows. On this map of the weather, you'll see it is showing. It's sunny in Gret, but in Groggle, it's snowing. A strong wind is blowing. A snow right towards Gret. Tomorrow, the weather in Gret. Will be wet. Symbol on weather maps show right away what kind of weather we're having today. This symbol means drizzle, and this one means rain. This means it's snowing. This means hurricane. Weather forecasts are important to us. Will we need a jacket to wait for the bus? When clouds form a ring, and it circles the moon, sailors know this ring means there's a storm coming soon. A pine cone can forecast the weather. Here's why: it's closed when it's wet, opened up when it's dry. Here is a fact that we cannot explain. Frogs croak a lot more when it's going to rain. There are all kinds of clouds you can see in the sky. Circus are light, wispy clouds floating by. Cumulonimbus clouds mean there's a storm on its way. You see cumulus clouds on a warm, sunny day. When a cloud touches down on the ground, it's called fog. If it mixes with smoke, then the fog becomes smog. A fun way to learn a cloud's shape is to draw it. We say that's a circus the minute we saw it. If you look inside any cloud, you would see water droplets that bounce all around happily. If the droplets get close, they will soon join together, get heavy, and fall. Then we're in for a wet weather. Water droplets are tiny. This fact made us stop. It takes one million droplets to make one raindrop. They fall to the ground, then the sun's energy turns them to water vapor, which we cannot see. Water vapor floats up 
forms a new cloud and then rain falls from the cloud to the ground once again. Guess what they call this? Give it a trickle. The path of the rain is called the water cycle. Here are some words that we learn on vacation. Rain, snow, sleet, and hail are called precipitation. Water changing to vapor is called evaporation. Vapor changing to water is called condensation. Who invented umbrellas? Well, we don't know who, but umbrellas were first made in China. It's true. Out of colorful paper and wood called bamboo. Thousands of years ago, they were first made so out in the sun, folks could walk in the shade. When it rained, they put wax on the paper, here's why. Rain rolled off the wax, which kept the folks nice and dry. When the air's warmer than freezing, I'd like to explain. Water falls from the clouds, and it falls down as rain. When air's freezing cold, it's important to know. Water falls from the clouds, but it falls down as snow. If you magnify snowflakes the way that we are, you will see that each one is a six-pointed star. They are made up of crystals and each one you find is like no other snowflake. It's one of a kind. The desert is dry and the reason is clear. Its rainfall is less than 10 inches a year. Here's a word and we both like to rhyme it. The weather a place has is most of its climate. How do you keep cool when you live in a land that is hot, dry, and dusty and covered in sand? Loose fitting clothes let breezes blow through and light colored bounce the sun's rays off you. Where on earth is it coldest? Meteorologists say Antarctica is freezing cold every day. Land covered in ice and deep drifting snow, the air is so cold that plants cannot grow. How thick is the ice here? This made us think quick. We are standing on ice 7,000 feet thick. We used a thermometer and now we know in the air it is coldest than deep in the snow. In a tropical jungle, it's hot and it's wet. If you go there to visit, you soon start to sweat. The weather is humid, which makes you feel icky. The air is full of water, that's why you feel sticky. Air conditioners help you feel better, here's why. Cold air holds less water, so you feel cool and dry. In a thunderstorm first, you will see lightning flash. Next, you'll hear thunder go rumble and crash. To find out how far thunderstorms are from you, try this easy trick. It's a fun thing to do. Start counting when you see a lightning bolt flash. Stop counting when you hear the next thunder crash. Take that number, divide it by five when you do. That's the number of miles that the storm is from you. Lightning's electric. One flash is so strong, it could light every light in your house 
all year long. Thunder won't hurt you, but lightning could so. Here's a few things we would like you to know. Lightning strikes what is tallest, so take it from me. In a thunderstorm, never stand under a tree. If you're out in a field and have no place to go, get as small as you can and then scrunch way down low. Stay inside your car if there's lightning around. It flows over your car and down to the ground. If strong winds are blowing with hard driving rain, you may be in the middle of a hurricane. Winds blowing in a circle both night and day, knocking lots of things down that get in their way. Here's a hurricane fact that's a favorite of mine. There can be lots of hurricanes at the same time. So each one gets a name. Andrew, Agnes, or Dora. Lenny, Deanna, Mitch, Bertha, or Flora. They each get a name, so there's never a doubt which hurricane people are talking about. Hurricanes blow things down, but I learn from things too. Tornadoes blow harder than hurricanes do. Our to a tornado picks up everything it goes by, like a huge vacuum cleaner way up in the sky. It spins like a top, twirling round and around, pulling trees, cars, and houses right off the ground. Once in a tornado, a chicken was tossed. She landed safely, but her feathers were lost. It's important to study the weather, it's true, but we cannot control it, whatever we do. The sun may be shining, the sky a bright blue, then suddenly rain will start falling on you. Or the sky may be filled with dark storms, clouds, and then the sun will break through and shine down once again. You see, weather keeps changing, but one thing we know, it makes life exciting wherever you go. The end. Thank you so much for reading with me. What is one thing that you learned? Something I learned today was that tornadoes are stronger than hurricanes. That was so surprising. Thanks for reading with me. Please like and subscribe so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. Bye!